come with me as we head to a personal styling appointment for a complete wardrobe refresh. We'll also end up in Zara and I'll show you a huge haul and all my beautiful new outfits. My mum and Lydia came with me for a girl shopping trip and they helped me pick out the outfits. This has been a very successful shopping trip. Good morning. Today we're going to go shopping, clothes shopping. Um, so I've booked in for a John Lewis appointment. So if you didn't know, you can book in for a two hour appointment slot and they kind of suggest outfits that would suit you, colors that would suit you. Um, I have had my colors done previously. Um, so I've kind of got a good idea of what colors suit me, but I'd like some help with some outfits. So we'll see what they suggest. Um, yeah, let's go shopping in John Lewis. This is all part of my glow up month. So I've had a massage so far. I have um, a hair appointment booked in because I today is outfits, clothes shopping day. So let's go. So cliche, you didn't say goodbye. I've been waiting for so We're all parked. I'm still not sure how much it costs, but we're parked. <laughs> all by myself, you pulled away. You couldn't say what we were struggling with. It's one of us, it's obvious, but who's the real? So we're just following the signs for the personal styling, then we check in at the counter and then into this dressing room. The personal stylist had already chosen some clothes based on the form I'd filled out for the appointment and then I could choose a few that I wanted to try on first. So I went for these trousers which are from French Connection and this striped top. Love these trousers, love the colour, love the belt, love the floatiness. Shout out to Lydia, she's doing a fabulous job taking videos of these outfits. You can just about see her in the mirror. Oh, it's really nice. So this is French Connection, it's £49. <laughs> trousers are long, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Trousers are really long, actually. So you, you couldn't wear them with trainers? You'd have no. to have high heels, which... So, heels only trousers. <laughs> What's lovely at the back? If you enjoyed this video so far, do us every things like and subscribe and stick around for home renovations, reviews, shopping and vlogs. Getting attacked by tags. Mm. It's not really me. Bo's gone slanted. The rail's been refreshed and I have some more clothes to try on. Look at these trousers. In the mirror you can probably spot my mum and she's my usual personal shopper. It feels nice at the top. Top's lovely. But yeah, loving the trousers as well. They're yeah. just too long. Just too yeah. long. <laughs> can you actually move in that skirt? Because you, you know. Yeah, you can, can't you? can walk, you can. right? But I can't breathe in this top. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to breathe? Oh, yeah, not me, apparently. No, I don't like that. This one's a no. <laughs> Slumber party, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I like the whole pajama look in, but this isn't me. The colours just don't don't work for my skin. I'm much more winter colours than I am. I don't know what these colours are. Spring. But I'm more, maybe spring. Yeah, maybe spring. But I'm definitely more winter colours. So, quick pause from shopping to get some food because we're very hungry. Can you guess where we are? We're in Tim Hortons and Lydia has ordered one of the Timbits, which is the donut holes basically. <laughs> So I went for the big breakfast wrap and it was delicious. I love Tim Hortons. Um, just give you a little bit of a tour of everywhere else before we go back into the shopping centre. So in John Lewis, I had a personal shopper appointment, but now we're heading to Zara with my own usual personal shopper, AKA my mum, to work her magic. Well, this was really unexpected. So when in John Lewis brought one item, um, was really expecting to buy a lot more, but they didn't have a lot in my size. Um, so I've got a couple of things that I'm thinking about, like ordering, so it's crossing the road. Um, there's a couple of things I'm thinking about ordering, like in the smaller size online. But then we went into Zara and I brought quite a bit, which I'm going to show you when we get home. And now we're in Foss Park. So we're still doing some more shopping and I'll show you some more shops. But this was not how I expected the day to be. I thought it'd be like a lot longer in John Lewis and buying a lot of John Lewis clothes. But here we are. So we're just in Primark because they have their Bridgerton range in. So when we went to Primark a week or so ago, they didn't have any of the Bridgerton things in, but they do have them in here. So I'll show you. wasn't quite how I imagined the day going at all. I thought we'd spend a lot longer in John Lewis. Um, there were a few things that I really liked, um, which I'm going to see if I can order online. I did pick up one item from John Lewis and then went into Zara and brought half of Zara. So I'm going to show you a huge Zara haul. Um, also went into TK Maxx and Primark, so I'll show you what else I purchased from those stores as well. But yeah, it's not as I expected it to be, but it still turned out to be a really great day. So I'll show you what I purchased. Right, I'm just trying to work out how you can best see most of the outfit. Maybe I'll move you slightly up. And let's have a look and see. Yeah, there we go, that should work. Okay, so this is my Zara haul, first of all, and then I'll show you what I purchased from John Lewis as well. Oh, and TK Maxx. I'm just going to show you things and let you know where they're from. So this is from Zara. Uh, the top is £36 and the bottoms are also £36 and they're three quarter lengths. Um, love this, so, so comfortable. So the bottoms are a size medium and I'd say you possibly want to size up because not a medium but the small were just a little bit snug so I went for the next size, size up and the top is an extra small and talking of sizing something really cool about Zara tags so their labels if it has a circle then it runs big if it has a square then it's true to size and if it has a triangle then it runs small so even before you take it to the fitting rooms, if you're not sure on what size, you just need to look on the, the label right there and it gives you a little tip, which I think is really cool. Because quite often I'll take multiple sizes into the fitting rooms, but I didn't need to. And these ones, I just tried the small one and was like, 
you know what, I need the medium, picked the medium up and tried them when I just got back, like just now. And I'm like, yep, happy with them. They don't have any pockets in them though. And I keep wanting to put my hands in my pockets. They've got like those fake pockets where they look like they have pockets, but nope. <laughs> I guess that means they like sit nice here. But I think I am going to miss the pockets a little bit. <laughs> so this is another top, same trousers, different top. Um, this is £36. I really liked it in store, but now I'm not sure how it's sitting. Is it sitting right? I thought it was nice with the different, like, a little bit different, the design at the bottom. And now I'm not so sure. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the top? So top is a size small. And then trousers, also a size small. This one has pockets, it's got pockets. <laughs> I love the, the frill along here as well. And then it ties up and it does actually like, you can pull it tight as well. So it's actually a tie, it's not a fake one. Sometimes I have it where it looks like it ties, but it doesn't actually. This one does actually tie. Can't really get any further back for you to see, but I think you can see there, the length of them. Here we go, I'll stand in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I really like these. Also, to give you a close up of the trousers, they zip down the side, so you've got one of those invisible zips. And that's the ruffle section I was talking about. This top is from John Lewis, and it's got a little star detail on the sleeve. I love that. I like it because it's a white t-shirt, but it's just got a little hint of something and it feels good quality as well so it's not just like a standard plain white tee but you can still wear it like a plain white tee so it'll go with lots of things and this was from john lewis i think it's a mint velvet yes mint velvet 29 pound i got these shoes from tk maxx so they're 24.99 from Anne klein and I think they'll look really nice with some of the new trousers I got. So I went in Zara and then I went into TK Maxx. So we'll try these on. So the pop socks I have on are from Primark. I think they might be too big with the shoes. Let's have a little lace round. Yeah, slightly, aren't they? I'll try them without. They are surprisingly comfy. Wow, it doesn't look like much is going back so far at this point, does it? <laughs> they're perfect, just what I was looking for. I feel like that's such a rarity to go into TK Maxx and find exactly what you're looking for right away. And I just came, I was looking for shoes and a belt and I just came out with shoes and a belt, nothing else. I'm so proud of myself. No candles, no mugs, that was it. Shoes and a belt. Although I've just realized I don't have any belt like loops on anything that I brought. <laughs> so none of the trousers actually have any belt loops on. But I'm sure I can use this belt on other trousers I own. So it was £10, it should have been 40 I love the color. So it actually looks a bit shiny there. There we go, that's, that's a little bit better. I was going to say, it was really, really nice with a lot of the trousers I own, just not any of the trousers that I purchased today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try back on the white shirt. Actually, I'll just leave this on. I've got some other tr trousers to show you, and then I've got some jackets and dresses as well. So these trousers are the same as the green trousers, because they are so comfortable, and the fabric is so thick as well, so they feel really nice. Now on the tag, it does say that it's true to size, but I'd say it's not. I'd say they're in small. So again, these are in a medium, which is funny because these other trousers, what do they say? True to size and they're extra small. So, but I think it gives you a good indication of whether it's going to be true or large or smaller. I think that's really handy than putting that 
just that symbol on the label what a huge difference that makes this blouse oh. <laughs> take two and this blouse top is 23 pound i think i might need to just pop a cami underneath or just press it how's it supposed to be sitting there we go And I've got a small in this one and it's like, it's quite long. So I've just tucked it in, but again, the material feels really nice, really silky. And I love how long the sleeves are. Let me show you. There we go. You can see a little bit better length of the sleeves. Yeah, I love this. So I have this dress, it's a size small easy for me to say <laughs> so small and I just love the way it fits like around the sides and the back it's elasticated and it just means it fits really nice it's very comfortable very easy to wear yeah love 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 this I think this is my favorite out of everything so far but I feel like I had a very successful shopping trip and I'm not sure how much is going back. Which item do you think is a must that I keep? I feel like this dress is one of those must keep items. It's probably gonna be one of my favorites. You know when you try something on and you can just tell, you're like, I'm gonna wear this all of the time. <laughs> it's gonna be this dress. But which other item do you think I definitely should keep? Let me know. And then I also got some pearl bracelets. These were £18. I just thought they'd be really nice to style. So you get seven in a packet. Might even be too many. What do we think? I don't know, how many, how many should I wear on my on my wrist to show about all of them? I don't know. Let me put all of them on, we'll see. So you get four small ones and three big ones. So this is all of them. Because like when those toys or musical instruments, you know, that you have at school and then you just kind of... <laughs> I feel like all of them's too much. Maybe like that. That's definitely too much. <laughs> okay, so this next item is very different to what I normally buy. So I don't normally buy leopard print clothing, but look at this. <laughs> it's like swirly, floaty. Again, size small. I was like, oh, I'll try it and see, thinking, well, I don't normally buy clothes like this. I probably won't get it, um, but I, I love it. <laughs> I just want to swirl it. <laughs> and then also got a jacket, which I can mix and match, so I can wear it with the trousers and tops, but also I can wear it with some of the dresses as well. So this is a jacket, size extra small. I think I said before um, in a different video, I say the sizing because it helps me when I'm ordering. So I like it when I order online and it throws me the model and then says what size she's wearing. Cause then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I can kind of base that and work out what size I would be. I just feel like that smartens it up, gives it a jacket. Um, so if it's cold, I've got like an extra layer because at the moment I don't have a like jacket or cardigan that could really go over dresses. So I feel like this is perfect. Oh, I'm so happy with all my purchases. Oh, just maybe the yellow top, not like the creamy yellow top. What do you think to that one? Oh, please let me know. So I still have more to show you. I have more to show you from Primark. Um, yes, I've got more to show you. I'm just going to go and eat dinner and then I will come back and show you some more of what I purchased. <laughs> so I'm back. Time to show you. 
everything I got from Primark. <laughs> so in Primark they have Bridgerton things in stores. Um, they didn't have anything Bridgerton in my local Primark, um, but they did at Foss Park. So they've got it sounds like there's work going on outside, so I hope you can still hear me. Um, a Bridgerton mug, jug even. Bridgerton jug. Bridgerton tea cups. They look like that. I'll open it up and show you though. Well, how much were these? So the jug, five pounds. The tea cups, 12 pounds. These are teacups. It's got a little bee inside. Look at that. It's a really beautiful design. And the plates are eight pound for a pack of tea. And then oh, teapot. I'm missing a bag. Be right back. I wasn't missing a bag, it was just at the bottom. Look at this teapot. So this was £12. It's quite tricky to get off. There we go. It's got a little bee on the top. How cute is that? Look. And if you like Bridgerton, my sister's done a Bridgerton afternoon tea, which is shared on her Instagram. So I'll link her Instagram in the description box below if you want to check that out. Really cool. So that's everything I purchased today. So if you want to see more shopping videos, check out the playlist up there. And for home renovation videos, check out the playlist down there. Also have experiences and reviews on my channel. So if there's something else you're interested in, then check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.